Hi there, I am Roshan and welcome to the programming portal. In this tutorial, you will understand how to get the IP address and hostname of a local system in Python. There are multiple ways to do that. In this video, we will use socket module which provides various methods to access socket interface. These are the few methods we will use in this tutorial. You will also learn how to get the fully qualified domain name and active interface of your system in this video. So let's get started. First, we'll import socket module. So we can write import socket. Socket module has various inbuilt methods. To get the hostname, we'll call the get hostname method. So we can write socket dot get hostname. This will return us with the hostname of a local system. Next, we need to get the IP address. We can get the IP address using socket dot get hostname by name. It takes hostname as a parameter. So we need to provide hostname here. So let me save the hostname in some other variable. So I can write hostname equals to socket dot get hostname. And we can pass this variable in a parameter. Let me save IP address output in some variable. So I can write IP address here. And finally, we can print those values. So we can write print hostname and we'll print hostname value. Same I can do for IP address. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And we can write here IP address and we'll print IP address here. If the hostname does not resolve to a valid IP address, then it will raise socket error. So it is best practice to handle those errors using try catch block. So I can write try block here. And we'll write accept. And we'll print some message here. Error while getting hostname or invalid hostname. So let me save this and try to run. So we have got the hostname and IP address of my system. Next step is to get the fully qualified domain name. The get hostname method does not always return FQDN. To get a fully qualified domain name, we can use get FQDN method. So let me declare one variable fqdn equals to socket dot get fqdn method. Here we need to pass one parameter. So let me type www.google.com. We will find what is fqdn for google.com. And let me print the output. So this will give us the fully qualified domain name of google.com and if the name is empty, it will consider localhost. Next is to get the list of active network IP address. So we can use socket dot extension method. So we can write get hostname by name x. Here we need to pass hostname. And let me print the output so we can write print. Let me save this and try to rerun. So this is fqdn of google.com. Your output might differ based on location. And last we get the active network IP address. First value is the primary hostname. Second value is the alternative hostname of the same address, but mostly it will be empty. And the last value is the list of IP address for the same interface. In my case, I am having single IP in the interface. And one more point, both host by name and X method does not support IPv6. You can refer to the alternative mentioned in the official documentation page. Link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you next time.